about today at the launch of the Chimurenga music competition, why do you think this is important for the storytelling in Africa, you as a Pan-Africanist especially? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, music brings people together, no matter the differences, no matter the difficulties. We think that as Africans, one thing that um, we have not done well is to tell our own story and to pay tribute to our own history. We've got the most glorious history in Africa, uh, in the whole world. We as Africans have been groundbreaking people. We have uh, set the standards for the whole world. So uh, the Chimurenga music competition is a way to remind our young people where this country came from. No matter today's difficulties, yesterday's facts are incontrovertible. We fought for this country, it's our proud history, so let's go back there and relive it in a modern way, in our own way. Uh, we all have got stories of having lost a relative, uh, a father, a mother in the war. We all participated in the liberation struggle. So music is a way of doing it. And we are 40 years uh, uh, you know, uh, into independence. So this album, the Zimbabwe at 40, we will celebrate it uh, in a special way, you know, musically. So that's why we think it's important. So someone will say, why remix when you can just take the old songs and put them into, into an album? Well, uh, creativity never ends. Um, we want to create the same kind of music, but for different tastes. The, we, we can experience the same issue, the same event, the same experience, but differently. When we go to the restaurant, we all don't have to eat sazanenyama. Some can eat rice, some can eat this and that, but we are all celebrating the moment. That is the important thing. And uh, what do you hope in the artists get from this, besides the, the prizes? No, I think it's about the reconnection. Reconnection with where we are coming from. We've got a glorious past. So we are reconnecting with the, our glorious past, not just any other past, but our glorious past to give us confidence, uh, you know, moving into the future. And finally, uh, is there anything else that the institution is up to that we, should, we could be looking forward to over the next, say, 12 months? Yeah, we are working on the Africa Factbook. Uh, you know, this is Africa's authoritative source of facts that is going to be soon rolled out across the continent. We also have essay competitions that we are planning for school kids, you know, to, to, to be able to, uh, you know, gain knowledge about their past. You know, the Institute of African Knowledge is all about knowledge of who we are as Africans and being proud of it and embracing it. And absolute final, final, final. Yeah. Uh, how, how would the work, uh, how, uh, what are your thoughts around people who might dis think that this is political messaging and how would you depoliticize uh, liberation struggle songs? Well, uh, you know, there's somebody who told me that if you want to please everybody, sell ice cream. So we know here and there you have people who do not, uh, you know, agree with things or might be critical, which is fine. We are a free country, we are a democratic country, and at the end of the day, anyone can have their own views. But um, uh, we are not forcing anybody into this, isn't it? It's invitational. Let's do it together, those who are able, who are available, and who are willing. Thank you. <laughs>